So the next mission is uh, Ho Selector, which is very similar to the Fuzzball from GTA 3. And we'll see why. So again, I'm saving uh, JD's missions for later. Given that the Sindaco has become hostile to you after the mission blew up dolls. I think. Well, so far no deaths, but I reckon that once we get to contraband, that is going to significantly change. Or drastically change. Is this one of your new doggies, Sal? Mr. Leone. Tony, come star. I'm glad you showed up. I want you to do something for me. If I can't get that bitch of a union boss on my side, I can sure as shit get her guys to play along. You got me? What's faster, the taxi or the sentinel? As in Leone Sentinel. Well, I'd say this. Yeah. Let's go. I'm pretty sure there are more than six girls that you can drop off, but I'm pretty sure that uh, once you have dropped off the required six, the mission automatically ends. So, uh, unlike the fuzzball, you don't... You you don't get any uh, extra rewards, you know. Butthead. Uh, get the door, Bevis. No, you get the door, butthole. Right, I'll get the one from outside of ammunition then, I suppose. Any quacking? Nah, not today. Am I all alone, sweetie? Uh, do you not use your eyes? There are two other people in this car with me. Did your most recent client stick his dick in your eye by any chance? Yeah, I wish that lady would. Hey baby, looking for a good time? Hi sugar, I'm Candy. Call me Dandy Candy cause I'm high high. Hey, good looking. You wanna have some fun? I am so super pooper drooper and the front girl in round. Me 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 me. Who wants chocolate? Me, 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 me. I never say no to chocolate. Unless, of course, I know I've had too much. Don't indulge. The stupid cutscene making me lose momentum. Okay. okay. I'm not sure why I took the long way around, but never mind. What's done is done. You can't change the past. You can, however, learn from it. Next up is Frighteners. And then Roller Coaster Ride. Roller Coasters, no thanks. Not a huge fan of uh, roller coasters in real life. Why? Because I am a paranoid wreck who always thinks something is going to go horribly wrong. And sadly, that has happened a few times in real life. Thankfully not to me. I've been on roller coasters before, but thankfully nothing went wrong. But I certainly know about some uh, horrible accidents that have happened.
Yeah, I think I'll stick with the uh, Dodgem cars or bumper cars and the uh, shooting gallery, etc., etc. Future so bright you gotta wear shades. Tony, how are you, my boy? You look a little thin. Isn't your mama feeding you right? Oh, I'm good, Mr. Leone. Listen, these union guys, they're getting me pissed. It looks like some of them are starting to see things my way, but we just need to turn up the heat on some of the less than receptive union big shots. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. I'll need to be careful in this mission because one of the big shots has a pistol. Or at least, at least one of them does. I think two might have pistols actually. And by the way, you can actually kill one of them. But if you kill any more than that, mission failed. And it's worse than the automatic lock-in situations in the Crystal Maze. Yeah, as in, you're allowed to make two mistakes, but you make a third mistake and the door remains bolted shut. Unless, of course, you sacrifice a crystal to buy them out. Right, uh, I guess I'm doing a, a bit of a drive-by to force them out. Why, yes, actually, I am crazy for games. Oh, fucking cop, honestly. Why? Ah, piss off, Argento. Yeah, can we get a move on, please? Let's hurry up. And sort out another big shot already. Come on. Pick up the pace of it. So what? We're not timed. It's not the end of the world. Sue me, dickhead. Ah, Total Recall. That was a good movie. It was interesting seeing uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in... Uh, shall we see? Uh, I don't want to see it. Well, when, he, when he was the Terminator, he was uh, tough as nails, but not quite as tough as nails in Total Recall, shall we say. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I knew at least uh, two of them were hostile to you when they got out of their cars. I couldn't remember how many had pistols. I'll be amazed if I manage to get to the end of this playthrough without any deaths whatsoever. I highly, highly doubt that will happen, but hey, you never know. You never know. Oh yeah, I've got a phone call to take from Maria to unlock her missions. Oof, God help me. If you thought Maria was bad in GTA 3, in this game she's a lot worse. I feel so sorry for that poor bastard of a husband of hers. Call a hit on this bitch. She's taking me for a ride. Well, two can play at that game. Tony, 
You're gonna deliver a message for me. Hell yeah. Watch out, Hopper. Here I come. Thank you very much for doing a radio broadcast. Now we know exactly where you are. Right, this mission is similar to Fender Ketchup in San Andreas. God fucking damn it. I'm just referring to that dickhead who got in my way. Is what horse is he? And you just ate lead. For a minute I thought it crashed. Please don't do that again. If you don't mind. You can make the scare meter go up faster by doing jumps, yeah. That's not good. Right. I know where I'll do some stunt jumps. You fucking wish. Uh, right, this way, this way. Uh, that was my own fault for running those Leone guys over. Never mind, we're almost there. Quack. Quack, quack, fucking quack. And don't forget our little agreement, lady. Yeah, you'd better run. No. Uh, actually, yes, do get back in the limo. I'm not getting on that angel. OHKO, remember? I suppose that's one way to uh, get some exercise. I don't think that fence is enjoying it very much, though. Right, I'm going to head back and save and change out of these chauffeur clothes and then take the phone call from Maria and save again. and dump this piece of shit car. Not a big fan of limos in this game, they're awfully slow. Mm. Yeah, some people indeed. You listening, Jane Hopper? I'm going to wait around for a bit. Before I can take that call. Yeah, unlike in Vice City and San Andreas, you do have to wait a while for phone calls to get triggered after you leave a vehicle or go outside. Hello, Fido, it's Maria. Salvatore gave me your number. Well, I found it in his address. But whatever. You're his new doggy, right? Well, I want to go walkies. I'll expect you over soon. You want to go walkies? Excuse me, you called me the doggy. I should be going for walkies. Oh, shut up. You're in a hole. Stop digging. And this car could come in handy for this mission, as long as it doesn't disappear after the cutscene, which it could very well do. Sometimes they disappear, sometimes they don't.
Eh, screw it, I'm gorgeous. Come on, Tony. Right, let's not make an ass of this mission attempt, okay? By the way, did anybody spot the uh, photograph of uh, Katie in Maria's apartment? As in Katie from San Andreas, the girlfriend. Sometime today, Maria, would be nice. Right, where is that cop brave again? It was over here. Pfft, fun my ass. I'm doing this for a reason. Uh, biker dude, what's up with you? I thought you were working at Giovanni Casas Deli. Right. I am going to go with the pain spray. Then again. I just realised we're not going to Salvatore's place, we're going to Maria's apartment, which is, uh, closer. Yeah, it's all good. It's not that far. I should be fine, even with three stars. Bring it on, motherfuckers. Piece of cake. Tony, honey, I had a great time today. Maybe you can drop by later and we can have some more fun. Just get the fucking side, please. I'm gonna save again. Next up is uh, taken for a ride. I'm getting taken for a fucking ride right here. Shitbag von Cockknocker. Shitbag von Cockknocker Part 2 just showed up. Boing. Clunk. Right, uh, I guess I'll use the hell and back GT again. Well, for the next mission, I have to use a bike. Yep, we've got a bike race coming up next. And unlike uh, Grease Sucho, that race is a two lap race. Hurry up, don't be late for your colon massage. Otherwise, you'll be in a lot of shit. Stop it. One of Salvatore's dogs is bringing me right over. Oh, he's a charmer. Maybe too thin, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, I want a party, but the cupboard is bare. You got some sugar? Pure cane, huh? Great. Ciao. Come on, Tony, I got places I need to be. Right, uh I know it's not Chico from GTA 3. Yeah, Maria, please do. Let's move it. My dealer won't hang around all day. Unless you want to become pavement pizza. <laughs> not that I care, I can't stand her. There's a good boy, there's a good boy. Dog legs. I ain't going anywhere with you. Who the hell do you think you are? Drive! Tony! Oh shit! Right. Hashtag pit maneuver. Should I get the pistol? Ah, what the hell. I guess I will. Tony Cipriani, my hero! You know what? I'm all partied 
I'm very sure. On that topic, I don't drink tea or coffee. I only drink cold drinks, thank you very much. I know what she meant. I'm just being literal. Or pedantic, that might be the right word to use. Right, I need something with two wheels and two wheels only. And I can hear one of those, but I think it's buggered off. And again, another one came along. Uh, Tony, I think you need to get a pair of glasses. Is that a PCJ, by the way? Uh, no, that's a freeway. I would rather have a PCJ. Oh, speak of the devil and he will appear. Oi. Can I catch him? Yes. I certainly bloody can. Uh, I'll leave it here. I know it might not disappear if I'll leave it right outside the apartment, but still. I'm just being safe. Yep, Tony's reaction said it all. He was thinking exactly what everybody else was thinking. Wonder if you get the uh, 3 2 1 go 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 situation in this game. You know, when you uh, drive straight into one of your opponents or do a drive by on them, does the race start immediately like it does in it? Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, no death run ruined. I knew it was only a matter of time to be honest with you. Yeah, cause in GTA 3 and Vice City, you can start races immediately by uh, just uh, attacking your opponent's vehicles. Don't know if you can do that in this game. I've got a date with a cheese deluxe. Okay. Yep, must be a bike. And again, with six stars, your opponents must survive. No, nope. the game doesn't give two shits if the tanks aren't being driven by you. Right. Not again! Jesus Christ, I almost hit that fucking perennial thanks to that Sanchez guy. You dirty Sanchez biker. That's something else. Okay. Right, it's a two lap race as mentioned earlier on. So I've got a bigger chance of uh, crashing and dying. Ooh, speaking of dying. Oh dear. Is the tarmac alright? I don't think it wanted to be painted red. Ping. Ping me an email. Right, I think I'm... Uh, Miles ahead of the competition. If you know you're going to crash, try to jump off. Yeah, if, if you bail out of cars, 
in this game you take damage, but if you bail out of a bike or jump off a bike, you don't take damage. Oh, I'm the pavement pizza maker around here. Stop trying to steal my job. Watch the way I navigate, ha 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 ha. And Tony was uh, walking about like that was because he was lost for words. Couldn't believe what he was seeing. Right, I have an appointment with my safe house, as always. Uh, what have I got in here, by the way? The Helen back? Yeah. Still the Helen back. Right. Not looking forward to this mission very much either. Because I believe there are enemies with guns uh, up ahead after a cutscene at one point. I'm going to have to be uh, very quick, shall we say. Sideways, not Shut enough up, up. Tony. Who did this to you? No one. Who was it? This guy I'm seeing, Wayne. Oh, there's some guy you're seeing. You're my boss's girl. Shh, come on, Tony. Don't be so square. Besides, he gets me this great speed, you know? A girl needs a lift. Plus, it makes you really wild in bed. Shut up! Why'd he do this to you, this dead prick, Wayne? I told him I was in love with somebody else. I told him about me and you, Tony, and then he hit There me. is no you and me. <laughs> Christ. You're killing me. Where is this Wayne? He deals at a bar down in Chinatown. I love you, Tony Cipriani. Love fist, love fist. Have you finished with that bottle? I remember hearing that quote, I love you Tony Cipriani, from uh, this game's trailer, by the way. Christ, that takes me back. Right, I believe you get another bike provided during this part of the mission anyway. Right, watch your stamina. Gone at the ready, just in case. <coughs> Get your motor running, huh? That bitch had it coming. Well, yeah? There. Well, now, so do you. I'll get him! Oh, someone's got a gun. Me. I want Go. Oh, fuck. Do I look like hunting up? What are you picking on me for? Oh, I think I'm gonna fail this mission. I know I'm hard for this. You have to vote right, right, he's coming back towards me. That's good. Oh, where the hell is he going? I'm not going to catch him like this. Yeah, I panicked a wee bit. As you can see. I was just trying to get away from that guy who was... Uh, coming after me. Right, quick, quick, quick. He's getting away. Okay, still not lost him. Good. Oh, shit, there he goes. Right, come on, go. Get on his tail. 
properly this time. Right. There. Bingo. Should I take the stubby shotgun? Yeah, I think I will actually. Right. Like Ma Supriani, there are five missions for Maria. Please don't die, I'm on a bike, remember? Drive carefully. I think I'll take the hell and back with me for the next mission. Uh-oh, contraband is coming very soon, by the way. Yes, I believe that's the next mission that gets unlocked. If I must. I don't even know if you uh, get a checkpoint at any point during that mission. Yeah. So, I mean, you've got to pick up uh, your backup and then go to the docks. Which is a bit time-consuming, unfortunately. coming to me was there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals kitchen out of a, out of a hotel on Ocean Drive. Hello. Uh, Stu, what are you talking about? Uh, that was the same fall over sound effect that plays during that cutscene in Back Alley bro. Yep. Uh, Stu, how do you know that? Because I just know, okay? This car would come in handy on a couple of occasions. Why have you brought me here? My stuff is in here. This is where Wayne used to hang out. Well, now you tell me. I got some zap stashed in Hepburn Heights. Hey, who let Leo out of Manhunt too? I won! Yeah, maybe you should go practice or something. Oh, a little stealth, that's all I ask for. I the, zap behind the, trash can. Yeah, the bikers just keep uh, respawning behind you. Uh, right. Do you get that yellow marker from here? Yes. No, you're not. I'm at Salvatore's place. I'm at Salvatore. Play it out loud, Maria. Answer me this question. Was that supposed to be hard? I think not. I need a 
new wardrobe, a little nip and tuck to work. Honey, have you got some money? Uh, not really. Well, what the hell have you been coming on to me for? I'm Salvatore's girl. He's loaded. Don't you ever hit on me again. Uh, no, that would have been you hitting on Tony. Get it right. Go home and get your fucking shine box. Right, save, take phone call from Salvatore, save again, and do the dreaded contraband, or try to. Mm. Click. Clunk. Don't let Rudy down, he's always been there for you, you know? Right, I'm gonna do crazy legs now. While I'm waiting for that phone call. Just because I can. There we go. Tony, it's Salvatore. Have you seen Maria? I swear I can only find that bitch when she needs money. Come over and see me soon, I got some work for you. Have I seen Maria? Unfortunately, yes, I have. I think I'll save again, actually. Right, so this is the first very hard mission with OHKO because at one point when you regain control of Tony you are pretty much right in the line of fire. Now during a practice run I did manage to uh, jump backwards to avoid getting shot right from the start but then I got shot by the enemies who are behind you as well. So I'm gonna have to get lucky, I think. Shut up, you ungrateful bitch! I'll knock you into next week if I hear another word from you. Oh, that's right, big dick. What are you gonna do? Hit me? Why I oughta? That's the only time you touch me these days. Why the fuck would I want to touch you? I don't like you's goods. You revolt me. Me? Revolt you? What? Yeah, revolt. Oh please. You know what? My daddy was right when he said you were nothing but a fat Yeah, ball. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tony. I want my money, old man. Get out of here, you tramp. Hey, Anthony, you're an angel of mercy. Women, what are you gonna do about them, huh? Luckily, I can trust someone in my life. You, Tony. You're very important to me. Did I ever tell you that? You can't even get it up, you old bastard. Not for you! I don't like using public toilets, you slut. Very important. So listen, it's you and me now. We're in charge. We got those fools on the run. How would you know? You're more interested in hanging out with men. And you're only happy when you got your drawers around your ankles and your back against the wall. Christ, I met rabbits who like to fuck less than you. So listen, fuck this is you, important. Fuck you, Salvatore Leone. You know dick bullion, white beaten piece of a Fuck me? Dick. Fuck you! In fact, Everyone has! Anyway, I got a shipment of you-know-what coming in. This is gonna put us, you and me, on the map big time. Everything should run smooth. I just need someone, someone I trust, to take care of things for me. All right, Tony? I'll talk to you later. And another thing. I never met a girl with hydraulic underwear. It amazes me. Christ, why did I marry her? I was looking for a tramp. I married a slut. I must have really pissed someone off in my past life. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, <laughs> I say the same thing when uh, things don't go my way during my uh, crazy GTA playthroughs, especially the wanted level ones, you know. Right, so yeah, this is the uh, time-consuming part of the mission. I don't think this mission has any checkpoints. Well, I don't know, I man, I've never tried it. I know the final story mission has a checkpoint, but I don't know about anybody else. I mean, I don't know about any other missions in the game. Yeah. Not a clue. I don't have a Scooby. Uh, where the hell am I going? I don't have a Scooby.
know, the only reason this mission doesn't uh, doesn't have a checkpoint is because uh, Rockstar didn't know that some crazy son of a bitch on YouTube was going to attempt to play this game with OHQ. Crazy son of a bitch. My name's Crazy for Games. Get it right. Oh, bloody hell. Don't worry. I don't get to use this vehicle once this cutscene is over anyway, it's fine. Right, what's the plan? Let me think. I'll jump backwards. Once the cutscene ends, I'll jump backwards. And then I'll make a mad dash behind the Patriot. As in this Patriot. Good luck. Fingers crossed. Get ready. Ah, Jesus Christ, I didn't even get a chance to jump there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, 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 whatever. Well, let's take a look and see if you do get checkpoints. Well, to be honest... I'm not even sure why I'm bothering to check if it's got a checkpoint, because... Uh, hold on a minute. I'm back, right. Um, yeah, why am I bothering to check? Because uh, if you die... You lose all your weapons. Yeah, okay, I was right. No checkpoint. Didn't think there would be. Right, uh, I don't think I need that anymore, to be honest with you. By the way, I just thought of, of an, another mission that could be hard with OHK, Sindaco Sabotage. You know, the one in which you attack the Diablos. I might just have to uh, keep doing drive-bys and just hope I don't get blown up. Or something like that. Sorry, Helen, back GT. You served me well. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. You know, sometimes, after the mission's opening cutscene is over, you can't get in vehicles. I know you can rectify it by jumping, but still, it's annoying when that happens. As you can probably imagine. I tried to kill that guy, actually, but failed. Oh well. Fail quack. Piss off, Stallion. And you, Kuruma. Yeah, there's just enemies on all sides at the docks. There has to be a way to get past it. Yeah, get lucky. Up all night too. When, as I said, during a practice run, I managed to avoid getting shot right from the start by jumping backwards. But then I got shot with the FBI behind me. I might be able to avoid that if I if I use Molotovs. Yeah, there is that. And I could complete a firefighter to become fireproof. Yeah, I did that in the San Andreas OHKO playthrough. And it was a game changer. Right, ready? Oh, damn it! Right, I'm jumping the wrong way. Yeah, for some reason, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm facing Miguel. So in that case, jump this way. Or that way. 
It might be safer if I jump if I jump to the left actually. That guy sounds like one of the cops in uh, the Warriors. You know the stop right there, guy. What the heck? There ain't nothing out here. The chief needs more coffee. Over. Okay, okay. Get a hold of yourself, for Christ's sake. Right. Here we go again, everybody. I can see myself having to speed this section up. As in a lot. Oh, I. Yeah, so it seems that after that cutscene with Miguel, you're facing Miguel. Yeah, you're... you're and for some reason, I thought that when the cutscene was over, you were facing uh, south and not east. Which is why I kept saying, try jumping backwards. No, jump left. It's just a jump to the left, and then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips, you bring your knees in tight. Well, in this case, it's not the pelvic thrust that drives me insane. It's this mission that's driving me insane. So, uh, three deaths so far, I think. Hope you're keeping count, because uh, because of this mission, that number is going to skyrocket. And if shit like that keeps happening, my blood pressure is going to skyrocket as well. Okay, okay. Right, jump left. Are you ready? No, not really. Right. Jesus Christ, he can't win. And I keep forgetting, you've got to pause the game quickly to avoid that uh, screen. Yeah, the fade to white screen. What in the name of God am I meant to do? And how come it worked in a practice run and not now? Because I'm just lucky that way, that's why. I'll screw you very fucking much. If this keeps up, I'll just get JD's missions out of the way. Yeah, give me something else to do for the time being. I mean, I can't rethink my strategy because <laughs> you just have to get lucky. That's the only way to do it. I'm assuming adrenaline mode gets cancelled out by cutscenes. Yeah. I presume so. Um I doubt this will make any differences at all. I'll jump forward then. Oh Jesus Christ. Holy shit. What if I just used the shotgun to blast Miguel right from the start? I'll still get killed by somebody else though, guaranteed. Right, one more go, then I'll try GD's missions. I won't just try them, I'll complete them. They're dead simple. Unlike some missions. Yeah, contraband, you've got a lot to answer for. Right. It's not going to fucking work. I mean, the shotgun... As in the... Hold on, let me see. So I go like... Yeah, well, they've got pistols. They're much... How do I say it? 
yeah, the firing animation of pistols is a lot quicker than shotguns. So I've still got no chance. Yeah, Barrel, please move. Do me a favour. Aye, mission, do me a favour and allow me to complete you. Right. A volatile situation, here we come. But first, change of clothes yet again. What shit, I'd rather not. Aye, ah, this mission. I mean, this car could be handy for this mission. Given that I do have to work a bit fast. I'd say once I'm past contraband, the rest of the playthrough might not be too difficult. But this is definitely the mission of the playthrough, yeah, contraband, definitely, no doubt about it. Hey, Tony, uh, I can't come out right now, I'm busy, you know? Why? What's going on in there? Well, what the hell is that smell? Look, Tony, we're catering to some real, uh, specialists today. This stuff is internet gold dust. What you should be concerning yourself with is that Leone gaming house up in St. Mark's. The Sindacos are going nuts about it. I heard they're gonna blow the place off the map. Hmm. Sounds like JD is doing some nasty shit for the dark web. Oh god, the dark web. Fuck that shit. If there's one part of the internet that I will never ever visit in a million years, it's there. Just do drive-bys on them. Dead simple. Unlike contraband, obviously. For a minute I thought I heard a cop car coming along. Speaking of cops, I'm sure that was a cop back there. Right, here they come. You know, I might be able to save ammo by just uh, letting them come here. Yeah. Are they stuck? Uh, no. Fair enough. Didn't use up that much ammo to be honest with you. Oh god. that back tire. I knew thee well. Oh god. I don't want to see Patriots right now. Given what happened with contraband. Is that an MP5 by the way? The Sandakos have rigged a huge truck bomb. They're going to take out the casino in one go. No, a newsy. Okay. Oh, silly officer. Oh, no wanted level. Must be disabled during this mission. Fine, suits me. 
What's that noise? I should have got out and used the fucking stubby shotgun, but that would be a bit risky with this mod, I think. It's good. The mission doesn't fail if it gets there. Right. Sorry, I skipped that cutscene. Oh, come on. Neither do I. Yeah, I only skipped that cutscene accidentally because uh, I pressed uh, the exit vehicle button. Doesn't matter. If you want to see that cutscene, I'm sure you can check out somebody else's video. Right, next up is blow up dolls. Again, I think the Sandakos become hostile to you after this mission. Right, this mission is kind of similar to Blowfish from GTA 3. Is that a Sandako or Gento? It is as well. Well, with OHKO, I don't think this is going to make this mission any easier. We'll see what happens. Quickly before you get shot. Is he still going to be there when the cutscene ends? Hopefully not. So Tony, the Sandakos got this place, the Doll's house. It's a casino and bordello in one. Classy. So you might lose at the tables, but you can bank on the ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, the place is key to the setup over here. If you were to put it out of business, you know, uh, blow it up or something. I'm telling you, we'll be gold in the Salvatore. Sounds like it's still there. Oh god, well, he's still there. I'm for. Oh, thank god. Oh, and after all that, a fucking Sandaka or Genso is provided in, during this mission anyway. I didn't know that. It has been a while since I, uh, you know, played through this game. What are you talking about? You played through it not too long ago when you, when you were doing a practice run. Well, let's just say I'm not as familiar with familiar with this game as I am with GTA 3, okay? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. How much do bombs cost in this game? Is it still a thousand bucks? I believe so. Okay. Free during this mission. <laughs> Pardon me. Right. Yeah, this is like Blowfish from GTA 3. Yes, I know you can uh, you can drive straight in and the Sandakos won't bother you. Hmm. Well, have they got guns, by the way? Yeah, I might as well kill them anyway. Yeah. I have a feeling that uh, when they see me, they'll recognise me as a Leone. Okay. Making toast. Right, the Sandakos. They're gonna shoot at me if I don't get the hell out of here. Right fucking now. I don't think there are any more missions. Oh god, no. I don't think there are any more missions available. 
until after contraband. On Esperanto, do me proud. Scotland. <laughs>